This was one of the most beautiful sunset sails I have ever been on. I'm excited to share it with you and hope you enjoy it as much as I did. If you haven't already, go click that subscribe button so you know when new videos go live. Enjoy the sunset. The sun's starting to set, it's really beautiful. I didn't actually get out of the harbor until about six. It's gonna take us about three and a half hours to get there. On a day where there's nothing fighting us and we have wind where we can catch, we actually can get there in about two and a half hours, which is pretty cool. We're still headed directly into the wind. See that arrow, how it's pointing forward? That is pointing into the wind. So there'd be no point to have my sails up right now. They would just be luffing. soon it's absolutely beautiful out here I have Maui and Kiki on my lap cuddling the autopilot is on it's gonna take us about two to three more hours to get there because we're fighting the wind in the current luckily in a couple minutes after the Sun goes down the wind is gonna drop a lot it shouldn't affect us much once the Sun goes down I love sunset sails this is gorgeous so I use the Navionics app whenever I go it tracks where we are, how long it's gonna take to get there, and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. I'll probably just show you guys some um, screenshots of it. Right now it's saying my ETA is about 10. I'm hoping we make better time than that, but we'll see. I do know that the current is pretty hard against us. I think the colors show up better on the phone. I haven't put up my pirate flag yet. Aw, oh, man. All right, maybe once we get into Newport, we'll hoist the pirate flag. There goes the sun. Okay, so I just did a live for you guys of the sunset. I'm surprised my phone got such good service. What's really awesome though is you guys make me feel really good because it was unplanned. And the fact that 38 people wanted to tune in to my live, that's pretty cool. You guys make me feel good. That was awesome. An unplanned live no one knew about and 38 of you were like, oh, I wanna see. That was pretty cool. That's really special. Right now we're only going about 3.4 knots. When we get to Newport Harbor, I don't know how dark it's going to be. So it's quite possible that you guys may not be able to see me anchor or anything, which is unfortunate. You will be able to see me pull up anchor in the morning. If there's no footage of me anchoring tonight, just know I turned on the GoPros and I tried, but it just might be too dark. Once I get there, I'm probably gonna wanna rinse off and probably just go right to sleep because it's been quite a long day in the sun. That is the most beautiful coloring. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I could just live stream this. I could just set up the phone here and like just let it live stream. Hopefully they get the help they need. I know at Newport Anchorage, a lot of boats like to go there during the day and then as soon as it gets dark, like 90% of them leave. So it should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna set the anchor, I'm gonna do seven to one. I'm staying on the boat overnight. The wind's also supposed to die down, which should help with anchoring, make that pretty easy on me. I've got my navigation lights on, the red and the green. Right now we're passing the Laguna Beach Canyon area. 
the whole Laguna Beach coast with all the houses. They have a slight orange tint to them. I don't know what those are. There's like four really bright lights on the beach. I have no idea what those are. There's no other boats out here. I definitely left later than most people would to get to Newport. Ideally, it would have been nice to be about a mile outside Newport as the sunset was happening. That way I could immediately go in and still anchor with some light. Put on my headlamp and do it. I've pulled up moorings at night before. So I know how the process goes. I'm in the North Pacific Ocean. <laughs> my phone is like, what are you doing? I don't know if you guys can see Catalina, but I can. Let me let me try to get it on here. Look, there you guys, there's Catalina. How cool. It's really pretty. I like that I can see Catalina. Once I get there, I am gonna have to set up the dinghy in order to take the pups ashore so that they can go potty before we go to bed. So that's gonna be a, a cold dinghy ride over. It's only supposed to get down to 65, 66, so that's really not that bad. Our depth right now is 225 feet. We're actually going quite faster than expected. I'm wondering if we're up in the four knot range. Yeah, the wind has died down, so now we're, we're averaging about four knots. I'm gonna change our degrees just a little bit. Pups are all wrapped up. They're both asleep and doing fine. The beautiful orange sky right now. I think that's my favorite color is that peachy sunset color. I have to wake up about 7 to take the pups out and get ready to leave. We have to be up in Long Beach by 12 and I know that the trek to Long Beach here is just like this one where you're fighting the, the wind and current the whole way. What's really cool is on the way back I can double face the sails though. We've got 8 more nautical miles to go before we're at the anchorage and our average is 4 knots so that is going to take us 2 more hours if the wind keeps blowing at us like this. According to Windy, which is the app I like to use, the wind should only be about 5 knots right now. I think it's about 8. One of the main reasons I wanted to get this sail done today is because tomorrow I have to head up to Long Beach. I have a show in Long Beach that I have to go do, so I gotta make my way up over there. One of the things about sailing at night is you have to constantly be on watch for other boats. So if you see any of the navigation lights coming at you, or sometimes if boats don't have navigation lights on, I've seen it before, where their, their batteries are either dead, or they don't know, or they just, you know, they, they didn't put them on. Sometimes it happens, so you have to be constantly watching. I keep scanning the horizon, and so far I see absolutely no other boats. But what's really cool is the moon is up. Oh, yay! How cool is this? Gorgeous. And then what's crazy is there's the moon, but if you turn this way, you can tell the sun is just setting. You can tell the sun just set, and over here is our moon. How cool! Um, I can tell it's having a hard time. Maybe if I put the torch closer to me. Here we go. Now you guys can see. <laughs> I look red, but you know, it's better than nothing. We're definitely losing our sun. I wish this gave off real heat. That would be nice. Instead, it's just my solar torch. But you know what? This works. I like cruising at night holding a torch so you guys can see. This works. I don't see any other boats along the horizon. Over here it's daytime and over here it's nighttime. <laughs> if you see boats at night and you see the lights on, there's red lights and green lights. Okay, so green lights are on the starboard side, which is the right side of the boat. The way I remember that is green is a longer word than red and starboard is a longer word than port. If you see a green light, you know for sure that you are seeing the starboard side of the boat. So you know which way the boat is facing and which way the boat is traveling. If you see the red light, it'll always be on the port side of the boat. Red and port go together because um, they're the smaller words, which is the left side. You always know that you're seeing the left side of the boat. So you can tell which way the boat is traveling by whichever light you see. If you see red, you know you're looking at the port side of the boat. And if you see green, you know you're looking at the starboard side of the boat. That's how the red and green navigation lights work at night. I do wish this torch gave off real heat because I know it's 66 right now, but with this wind, it definitely makes it 
a little bit colder feeling. Everything happens for a reason and I really believe that because if I didn't go through everything I went through, if the dinghy wasn't delayed, if I didn't get frustrated building it, I'd already be in Newport and I wouldn't be out here sailing at this time of night where it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm really glad that that everything happened because then you get cool experiences like this. I wonder if the GoPro has any night vision at all. One of the comments asked me what those cage-like things were. They're solar torches. So it's gonna take an hour and 10 minutes to get right outside the harbor and then it's gonna take another 30 minutes to get over to the anchorage it says? I don't really think so. We've lost all of our daylight. It's officially nighttime. Like I said, that camera won't show much at night at all. So if I do show anything, It'll probably be footage from the GoPros. About an hour till we're in Newport, so that's good. We're about 10 minutes outside of Newport Harbor right now, so we're making it just fine. All right, I know it's kind of dark, you can't see much. We have the Tiki Torch. So I'm just coming up to Newport Harbor. I am right outside the entrance, so I should be at the anchorage within the next maybe 20 minutes. And also the seas have calmed, it's absolutely beautiful, there's no wind, it's a gorgeous night. We made it in the harbor, that's the break wall. We made it! You can see how calm the water is now compared to earlier. Maui and Kiki are sleeping right here. How beautiful. Right there is the start of the break wall. The dinghy's back there, can't really see it. But yeah, here we are, we made it. Very pretty. There is no wind right now and the sea is very calm. That's gonna make anchoring here go much smoother and much easier. So I'm excited about that. Kiki is intrigued by the night fishermen. She has already barked at them, so. Now he's asleep. Gorgeous here. I just pulled my dinghy in close so that it's in while we anchor. And we're making our way to the anchorage. Absolutely beautiful here tonight. Here's an example, you can see the green light. And here's an example of a red light, so you can tell if that is their port side, and that's why you can tell that's their left side of the boat. So when I looked it up, GoPro said that the time-lapse mode was a way to see at night better than the video mode. So here's an extremely fast version of me anchoring the boat. I actually think it worked pretty well. You can see everything pretty clearly, and this is actually slowed down. The original version was twice as fast as this, but I think it worked fine. I also really like how my headlamp makes some cool designs and it's kind of like a strobe light sometimes. And you can see when I go down into the boat uh, where I am because the windows will light up. So it's pretty funny. All right, we made it here in the anchorage. Um, Maui and Kiki are good. We are all tired. We're gonna go to bed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.